this is pure open source people i'm loving it new loves well i'm loving it for one reason not for all the reasons uh, personally i think it is dangerous to have this kind of technology where you can print a gun seriously people you can print a gun it's like you're looking at your printer and going should i print this document in black and white and then you're thinking should i print this document in color and do i have color ink now you're thinking should i print this gun in black and white should i print this gun in color should i put a freaking handle on this gun what style of handle i mean the world has changed people the printer is gone from the dot matrix annoying noise of like super duper you know there's like millions of people have become deaf with that noise to bubble jet to freaking lasers to freaking color lasers to freaking multi everything and now it's building guns a printer and apparently this guy has made a mod on the gun the, the liberator and he's called it lulz liberator because the liberator apparently was built on an eight thousand dollar printer and this one is built on just an eighteen hundred dollar printer and how fast is that that was like just like a couple of months ago within a couple of months technology well, obviously, this existed before that, right? But this guy made some modifications so that it would print on this cheaper printer, this much more publicly available printer. And to the point that it's, uh, what, like one-fourth the cost, the plastic to put into this printer was only $25. Design is obviously free. The person who designed it put it on uh, the Internet for public consumption. And uh, now the cost, the cost of the first gun, has dropped from $8,025 to $1,750. And every subsequent gun that you make is going to be that much cheaper, right? So apparently, uh, not only does it cost so... And it's so convenient that you can just like freaking early in the morning, you know, you're like, what? I need to shoot some... And I'm just going to leave it right there because <laughs> anything I say after that could be taken against me or could be used in the court of law and obviously i'm just kidding there but seriously it could be right so i'm just gonna leave it right there so you want to shoot early in the morning and you're like where's my gun you can't find your gun because you just it's like your remote you know you keep losing it and then all of a sudden you're like oh forget it man i'm just gonna print another one out you know you just go in and you say oh the plastic is uh gotta put some more plastic in you put some more plastic in boom 25 dollars worth of plastic you got a new gun within a couple of hours or something and then you're just like walking around and shooting i'm, I'm not gonna say anything else after that because uh, it, it could be you know uh, i mean you know if you're a psychopath you could be shooting you know uh things that matter if you're a simple person you could be just shooting grass or grasshoppers or something right and apparently the decent thing about this gun is not only does it uh, well you know you would think that plastic gun seriously would break in your hand explode or something or melt right nine shots this guy fired nine shots on this gun and uh, it works it still works after nine shots so that's pretty amazing in my opinion and within a couple of months from eight thousand twenty five dollars to seventeen hundred and fifty dollars what's next people next year the, this printer is going to come out i'm seriously predicting this <laughs> well not so seriously actually hp is going to be coming out with this printer for twenty five dollars you just have to pay <laughs> like a, a two hundred dollars for the plastic <laughs> and the printer is going to be twenty five dollars you're going to be able to print everything and then they, they're they going to have this uh sort of uh, lock on it so you don't print anything that even remotely looks like a gun but there's going to be aftermarket uh, people who are going to be building printers as well and they're probably going to have so you know from one point of view it's a really serious thing because you can print a gun at home on the other point of view who gives a crap you can print a gun at home holy shit so what do you think about this is this uh, where civilization has taken the serious deep and dark tone and the end of the world is coming or hey everybody should have access to this and if everybody has access to it then just like knives everybody's got access to knives you don't see people going super duper crazy so 
much as you know just oh you know what here's something <laughs> zip 500 years ago when sharp things were not so common because technology hadn't made so many sharp things now sharp things are everywhere knives forks pins you could freaking pick up a pen and kill somebody right but people don't do that so maybe after a hundred years guns are going to be everywhere and people are not going to shoot each other unless of course they're totally looney tune and there are looney tune people killing people with pens even today but that doesn't make us ban pens we use pens for other things and of course a gun is used not only for killing people but it's used as a deterrent for somebody to attack you and of course you have to be trained in using gun making sure that the person who is going to attack you steals your gun and then kills you with your own gun but that could happen with your pen as well somebody could steal your pen or grab your pen from your hand and stab you so what do you think <laughs>